Hey y'all, I'm really excited about this new palette that I'm going to be telling you guys about. It's the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Sephora released it early, I think maybe like a week, maybe not a full week, maybe a couple of days early, online only for VIP and VIB, or excuse me, VIB and VIB Rouge members. So when I got the email, I was such a sucker for it. I was like, yeah, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. I don't know when it's gonna be out for sale to the general public. So I went ahead and ordered it. Um, VIP Rouge does have the free two day shipping, so I was super excited about it. Honestly, when I first got it, I was not a fan. Um, the lighting that I was using, it was I didn't have all my filming lights set up, so it was kind of throwing off the colors just a bit. So immediately I wanted to return it. I was like, no, I'm gonna give it another shot and see what I think about it. So after, so I did two, this is my third look with the palette and I really do like it. I love the packaging. Um, it has like these neat little cutout circles on the front cover as well as this kind of like um, rustic distressed label. And it just says, has the Urban Decay logo as well as Gwen Stefani. And then on the back, it does have, sorry, I was looking at it myself. It does have the label here. And it is, it is pretty thick. It's not super sleek or anything like that, but it does have this very nice full size mirror here on the inside. And in the bottom right hand corner, it says magics in the makeup. So then you do have the 15 different eyeshadows. I was talking to some friends of mine. Hey Candy and Mo, if you're watching. Um, I was talking to some friends of mine and I you know, let them know that it was set for sale if they were VIB or VIB Rouge members with Sephora. And they were surprised at how neutral the palette was besides these three kind of bolder shades right here. And if you really think about it, Gwen Stefani, her eye makeup is usually pretty much on the neutral side. It is definitely bold, it is definitely glam, but as far as all these different colors, that's not really her thing. Um, she usually has a very neutral, glam, but dramatic, smoky eye, and then has a bold wing and then a red lip. So that's kind of what I was going for with my look here today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna come in a little bit closer and let you look at the different shades. I guess it would help if I turn it right side up so you can see the names as well. But yeah, it does come with 15 different shades. They're all new eyeshadows besides the matte black right here, which is just blackout. Um, but yeah, it does have a good bit of matte shadows as well as shimmery shadows. There are a couple of shadows here that have more of a satin finish as well. Um, so you have the three, let me show you guys. So you have the three matte shades right here. They're kind of like, um, more on the neutral skin tone side. And then you have your matte black down here. These two here, kind of like this shimmery, um, kind of reflex gray shade, this kind of brownie burgundy shade. And let me see, this one here and this one here, those have more of a satin finish. And then everything else is more so on the shimmery side. So as far as the brighter, more colorful shades, you really only have this blue, this nice gold, as well as this pink. Everything else is pretty much on the um, more neutral side. There are a few warm tones. There are a few cool tones. So there is really a little bit of everyone here in this palette. Um, it has some cool names. Um, and like I said, all these shadows are new shadows except for the matte black for blackout. As far as overall pigmentation, I will swatch a couple that I used on my look today. I have Punk here that I used to kind of smoke out my uh, crease. It's like this brownish burgundy shade. And then you have Sirius. Sirius is an interesting color. In some whites, it looks kind of on the greener side to me, but here in the palette, it's more of a dark gray with some different reflex type colors going on. And then you have Baby, which is a nice shimmery rose shade, which I have all over my lid. They're very pigmented. Um, I used this for my eye makeup on Saturday and it lasted me, I would say, a good eight hours or so and it may, it may have lasted me longer than that but that's just the amount of time that I was ready to take my makeup off at the end of the night but 
I do like the palette. Is it a must-have palette? I'm gonna say no. Just because, I mean, it has some nice shadows in it. They are pigmented. You know, they're beautiful shadows, new shadows from Urban Decay and everything like that, but they're not any, you know, shadows or shades that I have to have in my collection. So, um, if you wanna try out a new palette, I would say give it a shot. If you want something that's more on the neutral side with a couple of kind of more dramatic shades, I would say give it a shot as well. It does not come with a brush, which I was pretty surprised at. I wasn't really disappointed because honestly, how often do we even use the brushes that come in an eyeshadow palette? Um, so I wasn't really disappointed in that, but I do love the packaging. I do like this palette. I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm obsessed with it. So um, again, this is the look that I did today. Let me come in a little bit. Um, have a bit of a cut crease going on here with the winged eye. Kind of smoked out here in the bottom with a highlighted inner corner. Um, and then of course, you can't have a Gwen Stefani inspired look without a red lip. So um, yeah, I'm gonna jump into the tutorial. Again, this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this very brief introduction slash review slash first impressions. Overall, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.